Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm doing a review of a buffet server and plate warmer. Now these things are absolutely perfect when you have large gatherings. And for me, I've bought this because of Christmas and because we're going to be having extra family round for Christmas lunch, for Boxing Day and just throughout the festive period. Right guys, let's go ahead and take a deeper look at the buffet server. This particular model comes with four trays and I've brought the camera a bit closer so hopefully you guys can see that a bit better. So you've got two large trays which are one, two, these two here and you've got two smaller trays which are these two here. Each one of these trays has a plastic lid which is see-through and it has a very easy handle and you can just lift that up as so which is great. You've got one here and you've got this and it's the same for the smaller ones. And in terms of the actual depth of the tray, it's about seven centimeters deep. So it's fairly deep and you can fit a, quite a lot of food in there. And right at the end, I've done a small video just to show you each of the trays with some food in. So hopefully that gives you a sense of what that might look like in your own gathering. The lids themselves are quite, it's quite thick plastic. So definitely when you have food in here and it's very warm, the lids are still going to be cool enough to lift. The last thing I want to say about the trays is I've taken a couple of pictures from a bird's eye view. The first one that's coming up now is with the actual lids on. And the second one is with the lids off. So hopefully that's also useful to give you some sense of what each of the trays looks like. If you're planning to move the actual unit around, when it's on so for example you might have it in your kitchen initially and then you might move it into your living room the actual unit does come with handles on the each side and you should be seeing an image coming up right now and the handles are made of plastic so regardless of how warm the trays get you're not going to be in any danger of burning your hands so it's very easy and safe to move around of course it should always be done by an adult in terms of how to actually switch on the server you've got a dial here which allows you to control the temperature of how hot you want the trays to be and it starts off minimum and the more you rotate it clockwise the hotter it will get to a maximum point so if I just turn the dial very slowly you can see that the light has come on and when the light's on that indicates that the actual unit is now going to start heating up and like I said the more you turn the dial to the right the hotter the tray will get now this particular unit doesn't have individual controls so the same temperature is going to be for each of the trays and I don't think that's a bad thing because you don't want one particular food serving to be colder than the other one but uh, if you do prefer to be able to control temperature for each of the trays then this unit does not do that. One other great thing about this server is that it can also be used as a plate warmer so what you can do is just lift off this top part if I do that so and just to give you an idea of how big the plates can be Here's two regular size plates and you can see they fit perfectly. So guys, I've switched it on and put some food in each of the four compartments. So I just want to show you what that looks like so you get a feel for what this can be in your own home. So first compartment, here we've got some burgers, some chicken burgers, all nice and warm. Second one, we've got some chicken and some potatoes so you can see the steam coming there hopefully you can see that through the camera so all nice and warm ready to eat and I'm just gonna lift this one up got some sweet carrots in here and although I've mentioned this before but what you will see when you have this is there's a red light that comes on because there's a built-in thermostat what happens is as the actual plates need warming it will switch on, the light will come on and when it reaches the desired temperature then the light goes off so it's also economical it's not just on all the time. In terms of actually washing the server once you have finished using it we already know that the lids just come off as so 
but the actual tray also just comes off so and that's the case with all of them so that makes it very easy to wash from a practical standpoint guys I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful I've left a link in the description where you can get this buffet server and plate warmer from so check it out if you're out there looking for one please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel where I've got other everyday videos that I hope will be useful for you guys as well and lastly I would like to say thanks for watching